What's up guys? Welcome back to Machine Zinc and another episode in the garage. And today we are gonna be talking about off-road lighting. So my Jeep has had some cheap lights on there for a while uh, that came with the Jeep when I bought it. Uh, they're like some, you know, knockoff brand lights. I believe the ones in the bumper actually came with that AEG bumper. But anyways, they're pretty dull. They have some issues with getting moisture inside of them, regardless of how many times I've cleaned them, dried them out, and done just about everything. They just don't have great seals in them. They don't put out a lot of light, and it was time to upgrade. So I was stoked when Oxbeam reached out and wanted to hook me up with some new lights for the Jeep. These guys are some of their driving lights. I got four matching ones. And essentially, these are 9,600 lumens for the set. Uh, we're gonna be putting four on there. So two on the A pillars and then two down below in the bumper. A cool feature on these lights is that you can swap out the lenses. So they come with a clear plastic lens already installed. You can swap it out to the amber lens that's included. Swapping these over is really simple. You just undo these four Allen key bolts, pop off the lens and then install the new one and make sure the seal's good on there. The cool thing about the ambers, not only does the amber color help you see a little bit better through like thick dust and through like fog, things like that, but when you do swap to these amber lenses, it's a dual lens. So the bottom is a floodlight style where it's gonna disperse the light um, more for shorter distance driving, like what you'd use a fog light for. And then the top portion here is gonna be a spotlight. So that should shoot some light further down the trail. Um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds by rocking these amber lenses um, by you know getting the floodlight up close and that spotlight further on down the trail. So I am gonna go ahead and swap all of these over to the amber lenses. Um, I generally like amber a little bit better, especially out here in the West in Colorado. Um, on the trails, it gets pretty dusty and this just helps you see through that dust a little bit easier instead of lighting up the dust and it just looks white in front of you. After I go and swap all these lenses over, we're gonna get these installed on the Jeep. Luckily, since I already have all the wiring ran for my current lights, should be a pretty quick and easy install. Now, Oxbeam does include everything that you need to install these. So they do include a nice wiring harness um, this has waterproof connectors on here, a switch to go into the cab and a relay, and then obviously two battery mounts to mount directly to your battery. I just have one of the standard six gang switch panels uh, with a little control box that's in the engine bay. So we're not gonna utilize this whole wiring harness that's provided. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna pop off these uh, waterproof connectors and reuse those so these lights can be easily taken on and off the car. So I wanna go ahead and get all these installed and get everything set up on the Jeep and then maybe take it out for a little night wheeling. We'll see how that goes. So now that I got these mounted, it's time to move on to the wiring harness. So like I said, I'm gonna snip off the connectors from the uh, harness that came with the lights, and then I'm gonna modify it to fit onto my little junction box under the hood. Whenever I'm making a wiring harness like this, I normally like to tape the wires together uh, with electrical tape or heat shrink about every six inches to a foot. The more wires you can bundle together, the harness will just be a little bit stronger and hopefully will prevent any like breaking of the wires from them bending over time, especially off-road when everything's taking a little bit more abuse. Then after I get that all together, cover it with some loom and uh, tape that loom up and you'll have a pretty good wiring harness. So to run these wires cleanly through the fender, um, the biggest issue is that I'm gonna need to be able to pass this whole connector through, but I don't want a big gaping hole where the wire comes through. So what I've done is I've bought an assortment of these rubber grommets. Um, these are an inch diameter hole, which is just large enough to be able to fit this connector through. Then I took it and I drilled a little hole through the center and put a couple score marks so it can expand. And that was just enough to be able to force it over the connector. And now I have this grommet in line. So I can drill my inch hole, push the connector through, and then pop this grommet to have a clean looking area where the wire actually passes through the fender.
All right, so we went ahead and got our light mounted here. The wires ran through this grommet, so the connector was able to pass through the fender, and that grommet takes up the extra space. And then the wiring from the control box to the engine bay, um, this is the connector that's gonna connect to it. And we did the same thing, we have a grommet, and it's gonna fit through a hole inside here, and both the connectors are gonna connect together inside the fender. So, the well, only thing we have left to do is go ahead and pass this through, put the plug in, and uh, turn them on. All right, so we are headed to a trail that's back behind my house. Uh, I'd love to go out to an actual trail tonight, but it's already pretty late and I just wanna go ahead and test these lights out. So we're gonna cruise down here and uh, play with them a little bit and see how they do. So after testing the lights out, I am definitely stoked on them. They project light super far down the trail, but also I really like the dual lenses that I have on them right now, where we get the floodlight and the spotlight, because not only do they project super far down the road and the trail, but also they really light up the surrounding area close to the vehicle. You know, if you're running a Baja truck and you're going super fast to the desert, obviously you need to see really far ahead of you. Unfortunately, my Jeep's not that fast and most everything I do is slow rock crawling. So being able to light up that surrounding area with more of that floodlight style, I think is gonna be awesome uh, and really help me out on the trail. Moving forward, I'm really excited to see how these lights hold up. Uh, full disclosure, Oxbeam did give me these lights and I'm really excited to try them out, but I had no parameters on what I can say. So if these lights totally fall apart, start to have issues, anything like that, I will definitely let you guys know. But for the time being, right out of the box, they seem like super nice lights, so I'm pretty excited. If you guys did like today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see these things out rock crawling sometime here soon at night. And uh, as always, I'm Jake with Machines Incorporated, and thanks for watching.